everyone welcome back to another video so sorry that I have not been uploading lately I've just been sick as a dog and I'm a little bit late posting this but why not so we are going to be doing All Saints week for 2023 so we can unlock it here in Gridania and the quest is called the fright stuff and we get the All Saints charm so, what kind of madness can we expect this year? Oh my stars, could it be the selfsame adventurer who helped us keep wickedness at bay and transform All Saints' wake from a night of screams into a day of reverie? Thank the Twelve for bringing you to us, for the fiends of the realm knock at our door once again, and we need a dauntless soul to help us ensure they don't tear it off its hinges. The host of this year's Parade of Horrors is a woman with a pumpkin for a head, I shudder to consider whether this is some elaborate costume or... No, perhaps it is best not to know. A strange appearance makes my skin crawl to say nothing of her underlings. Why, one might think the Continental Circus has come again, hiding their monstrous intentions behind the guise of celebration. We can be grateful that none have yet fallen under their spell, but I fear it is only a matter of time. We must act quickly to unearth their schemes. I would begin a thorough investigation at once, but I'm afraid my surveillance duties here prevent me from moving freely. That, my friend, is why I need you. Approach this pumpkin-headed witch under the flag of friendship, and offer your services to her ghastly celebration. If you catch even a whiff of foul deeds, I want you to put a stop to them before any innocents come to harm. I knew I could count on you. Now then, you can find our quarry just across the way at Meketo's Amphitheater, where she is doubtless attempting to draw any and all passerby into her ungodly procession. Humor her for now, but take care not to fall victim to her honeyed words. Oh, come now. It's the Great Gourd. She's harmless. <laughs> it is you. I knew your arrival was inevitable. For any who once indulged in the reverie of All Saints Wake cannot resist a chance to relive their experience. Oh, such eagerness. We are ever in need of willing hands to help with the festivities, preferably with bodies still attached. Of course, I understand you have been tasked with bringing to light any inquiry on my part. But you know from experience that I am perfectly harmless, so you are free to conduct your little investigation if it pleases you. Together, I believe we can make this All Saints wake into one that will be remembered for moons to come. Yet before we begin, allow me to illuminate the history of this event and our intentions here. On this most unhallowed of nights, the saints revel in their material heavens, and as their judgmental eyes become leaden with drink, the impure are free to feast and frolic without fear of punishments. In ages past, the common folk would brew the coming of this night and cower in their homes, that is, until the adventurers took it upon themselves to rid the streets of evil, thus turning the event into a celebration of your collective bravery. A joyous happening, to be sure, but what of the goblin, the ghost, and the gremlin? Unfortunately, there are many monstrous sorts who yet consider this a night to spread fear like a plague. And so it struck me, what if All Saints Wake could be an occasion for celebration among mortal and monster alike? I believe there is room for light even in the darkest of hearts. Which brings me to the question of your involvement. I would have you aid a minion of mine named Papa Gruff in facilitating an All Saints wake that will allow yours and mine to join hands in mutual merriment. Perhaps you know Papa Gruff. He was once a void sense so depraved that his kin spoke of him only in hushed whispers. But I have since shackled, or rather politely reasoned with him, to commit devilry no more. 
Knowing of this formidable magical prowess, I have sent him to work under these guiding words. Frightened enough to tickle, but not scar. Fear need not be an unpleasant experience, and Papa Grout is doing his utmost to strike that delicate balance between felicity and fright. Not with much success, as I understand. I would love to proffer him advice myself, but I believe one such as you would know better what appeals to the mortals of the city. Might you give our beleaguered Papa Gruff a few words of advice? <laughs> Thank you, truly. He should be putting on a performance near the Leather Workers Guild at, pre at present, assuming he has yet to be chased from Gridania's borders. Please speak with him and give him my encouragement. Ugh. It's still hard to talk. I am still getting over being sick. So, he's over this way. So, this is a bit of a surprise. I mean, Papa Gruff has caused us a little bit of trouble in the past. So, to think he's turned over a new leaf, I find strangely suspicious. Wonder if he remembers us. Hello. You, you're that meddlesome adventurer. Oh, he does remember me. Um, rather I see tidings of my humble performance have reached even your ears, good madam. Please honor me with your presence as my guest of honor. Without further ado, I shall summon a foul-filled beast before your very eyes. I only hope you've brought a change of small clothes. Monster, it'll take more than a magician's catrip to scare me. Look here, my dear thrill seekers. Here lies an ordinary pumpkin, or is it? Take care not to blink, for any moment of distraction may well be your last. And there's the emotes. Uh. What? A puppy? A wolf puppy? Really? It's cute. Oh, the terror, those bloodthirsty eyes, those razor-sharp fangs. Flee if you dare, but this hellhound will chase you to the ends of the earth to have its ounce of flesh. And I would know, considering the scars of its wrath upon my backside. Imagine each and every pumpkin adorning this fair city transformed into such a thing. My dread would prey upon Gradania to the last ilm, if I make it so. Venerable Banquet of Chaos. <laughs> Bloody brilliant. You drew us all in that talk of monsters, only to dash our expectations with an adorable pup. Must admit some confusion at first, but now I see you are a clown among clowns. Not a single blood curling scream, but a smile is... Not a complete failure, I suppose. Your boss sent me. Ah, oh, my pumpkin-headed master asked you to help me. Well, allow me to peel back the curtain, as they say. Considering our previous acquaintance, as hardly bears repeating, but my true form is that of a void sense. My, not even a grimace. Well, I suppose it would be inconvenient if you ran away screaming after every sideways glance in my direction. Now, for the matter of this furry abomination. F 
Frightened enough to tickle but not scar is the agreement that binds me to my master. I don't need to be told twice that summoning any of my kind would be in gross violation of that covenant. So remembering the deceptively winsome countenance of this vicious hellhound, I thought it would strike the perfect balance between horrifying and heartwarming. That is, until a child at an earlier show burst into tears at the pup's appearance. Now I've seen a man react with a hearty laugh to the exact same dog, but nary a trace of fear in his voice. The difference is vexing. Tell me, is a puppy something to be feared or cuddled? Both, actually. Uh, depends. What frightens one may make another smile. <laughs> Do you jest? You mean to say your kind's definition of terror differs from person to person? I admit that does explain the sheer contrast reactions I've observed so far. It does place me between a rock and a hellish soul-rending place. If my task was simply a matter of bringing people to fearful tears, the ground beneath you would already be soaked through. How in the hell's good name does one frighten to tickle? Ah, but you... You, with your delicate sensibilities, can teach me to mix dread and delight into a charmingly chilling concoction. Let us begin at once. Let's get right to it, eh? First we need to find people to scare, but not scar. Your kind seem to gravitate towards the pumpkins we place throughout the city, which creates the perfect opportunity for mild mischief. One of our displays should be just over this hill, and another is near the Lancer's Guild. Your job is to tell me what to transform the pumpkins into once we find suitable test subjects. Let's see how well you tickle. So he's following us now. Yep, he's following us. This is very different, but strangely wholesome at the same time. Off-duty sergeant. An old saint's wake performance? Very well, but I face slavering monsters almost daily, so it will take something quite fantastic to make me flinch. Oh, I could make him flinch so hard his heart would burst at his chest. Ah, oh, but that's neither here nor there. What type of ghoul would be suitable? Well, as a guard, he has plenty of experience, and give him the ghastliest ghoul you can muster. If you say so, allow me to oblige. Oh, it's those things. He gets. That, that gave me quite a fright. I only hope I never face such a monstrosity on one of my patrols. Else my final act may be to soil my breeches. Well played, well played. It's nice that they're adding a little bit more to do with Void Sense ever since the end of 6.5 and our little adventures in the Void. So, let's go up this way.
you know, it would be nice if, even if they save the 13th, they still have, like, All Saints Week. I think that would be cute. So we have a cowering boy. Something tells me we probably aren't going to want to scare him too badly. These decorations are so scary. You're not here to trick me, are you? This one is ripe for the picking. <laughs> um, forget I said anything, so what type of ghoul do you suggest? Well, something spoopy. <laughs> Pardon me, spooky. <laughs> you really think so? Is it gonna be another little puppy? Oh no! Yeet! Huh? You know, when you look at it, it's actually kind of cute. The puff of smoke was a little scary, though. I think I'm beginning to understand. If a fright doesn't kill your kind, it could actually be somewhat pleasant. I believe I'm ready to take the proverbial stab at it. Come, come, there should be more pumpkins around Apkulu Falls. It's cuter every time I look at it. I wonder if any of the other pumpkins will transform. I do like these decorations. They're just so cute. Uncowered girl. So we probably want to do the middle road with this one. Don't tell me you're supposed to send a chill down my spine. Clowns are for babies. For babies, are they? <laughs> I'll make this less wish she was back in her mother's womb. You there, little girl. Look well upon this pumpkin. Ah! A monster! Of magic, my heart won't stop pounding. Da and Ma will have the fright of their life when I tell them I saw a real honest to God's monster. I can't wait to tell them. <laughs> I think I'll think twice before I insult a clown again. Thank you for the thrills. She say thank you. I scared her near out of her shoes and she thanks me. Can't say I've experienced that before. I dare say I've even enjoyed it. Yes, now is the time to capitalize upon this newfound tickling skill of mine. Let us visit the display near the whistling miller next. So, the Whistling Miller. Don't tell me there's 
that's all there is to this quest. I mean, it would definitely be pretty short, so there's got to be more to it. You know, I really do like some of the costumes that everyone's in. I'm just wearing the Wake Doctor outfit from last year. I was lazy. Startled botanist. Oh, this can't be good. Good day to you, young lady. Might you join me in celebrating the joyous occasion that is All Saints Wake? S celebrate? That's the last thing on my mind. Please go and bother someone else with that ghoulish makeup. Oh my, aren't you in a fright? Not the good kind either. What happened last? Papa Groff is here to help. You'll, you'll really help? Well, I could certainly do worse than a clown. I've come from the Great Lone Growery, although fled from is probably more appropriate. Fled from? Do worse than a clown? Well, I mean, I don't think you can really do worse than a clown. I was tilling the fields like always when I heard a frightful voice from behind me. I turned around to meet it and came face to face with the foulest monster I've ever seen. When I regained my senses, I was here, my throat hoarse from screaming. No power in the realm can persuade me to return, not while that horror wanders unchecked. Monster? But we haven't visited the growery yet. What could it have been, do you think? We might have a real demon on our hands. You may very well be right. Those illusions I summoned are no more capable of free movement than the pumpkins they sprang from. Yes, no doubt there are voids that run in amok. Here I am, trying myself into not trying to learn the subsidies of spookery, while some uncouth brute goes rampaging through the Twelve's Wood with nary a thought towards artistry. If we forgive such behavior, our efforts to find glee and terror will have been for naught. Tremble and fear no longer last. We shall investigate the matter. Truly, you're the first people to believe my claims are more than seasonal mischief. Oh, I knew Father was wrong when he said all clowns were villains. Thank you. Again, those words ring strangely in my ears. However, it is not an entirely unpleasant sensation. I know this wasn't why you were sent to assist me, but there's no telling how many of my kind we may find. A single void, a clown, can only achieve so much. So, would you lend me your aid in case the situation gets undesirably bloody? Thank you. Look at me, expressing gratitude, and to one of your kind, no less. Well, no matter. Let us depart to the Great Lone Growery and settle this. Well, there's one thing you gotta like about Void Sense. They're as blunt as hammers. And... what's going on? She's frozen. And it's raining. Really? Does it have to rain? Oh well. So what kind of void then are we talking about? If it turns out it's going to be something harmless, I'm just going to laugh. A roguish quarry is close. 
doubtless laying in wait somewhere to catch us unawares. Once they show themselves, don't indulge them with anything but a face of stony indifference. Nothing. Oh. Boo. How do you not notice him? Sticks out like a sore thumb. Tick. Oh, come on. As I thought, a fellow void sent. And what, pray tell, are you doing here? A brother of the void. Then you know why I'm here, for the night of devilry. Once we were free to Koros, Creep, and Caper, guided by the great pumpkin-headed archfiend. For too long we have been denied our demonic rights, and it is I who shall reinstate our grandest event. Yes, the age of the great gourd shall give way to the era of the great pot, even now, my allies lie in wait throughout the city, ready to usher in the night of devilry. You must join us, brother. Join us as we rise again. You guys clearly haven't given much thought to this, have you? I mean, at least Papa Gruff had artistry behind his schemes. No. <laughs> what? Why? Even if I wanted to, my covenant prevents me from engaging in the wanton villainness you propose. <laughs> Regardless, I have no desire to join you for some cheap jaunt through the city with only a few startled mortals to show for it. Such indelicate devilry would only result in our swift and total annihilation. Ha, spoken like a true coward. Don't tell me you're frightened of some sharpened sticks and clumsy clubs. Oh, but I am frightened, as you too would be had you tasted the full brute of my master's fury. Perhaps you may yet, if you continue to insist upon this foolish course. I have learned how to blend in with the people here and extract terror in such a way that does not tempt retaliation. Your plan would bring but a single night of debauchery. Learn how to cohabit, however, and our collective reverie can last forevermore. Traitor! Then my minions and I will devour you and your brand bread loaf of a friend. Who are you calling a brand bread loaf? <laughs> That head, the g -g -g great g -g 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 guard. Naughty children ill deserve to join in the festivities. They should be happy as decorations to serve and as an example for any who would follow in their footsteps. M my lady, how dread, or I mean pleasant it is to see you. Dare I ask why you grace us with your presence? I caught wind of a void scent disturbance and came here to investigate. When I heard your voices, I knew something was afoot. <laughs> I must say, I'm quite pleased that you see the merit in my approach to All Saints Wake. Yet, something must be done about the other beasts that have crept into the city. Let us give them the same treatment and continue enjoying this unhallowed season on our own terms. Aww, looks so sad. Bit harsh, turning them into pumpkins. With your help, rounding up our reckless kin should prove to be a simple matter. Let us make this All Saints Wake an occasion to remember for those who dwell in light and shadow alike. If you sight any errant ghouls, perform the spell I demonstrated earlier. In so doing, we shall convince the residents of Gridania that the source of their supposed nightmares has not but a cluster of mundane pumpkins. 
This wand possesses the transformative power you require. Simply swing it about in a grandiose manner and point it at your target. Once the charms have been cast, I shall collect the pumpkins. I understand they are quite delicious when baked in pie. <laughs> wow, that is, that is extreme. You're not really going to cook him, right? So we learn the All Saints charm. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think we can make it work. Okay, a charmed life. Papa Gruff is eager to rid Bredonia of his wicked brethren. Just when I was getting the hang of being the life of the party instead of the death of it. Let's wrap this up quickly. At least this year's All Saints Quake be remembered as a disaster. I said something sinister lurking deeper in these fields. As well as a trail heading to the east, perhaps towards the market or the Lancers Guild. Splitting up will be the easiest way to end this quickly. I'll escort the botanist from earlier back here and deal with whatever still haunts the grove. I shall use the opportunity to convince her that what she witnessed before was nothing but an overzealous pumpkin. That should put her heart at ease. I will leave the rest of Gridania to you. Once the void set have been invariably vegetated, meet me at Mikoto Zempathiater so we can deliver my master news of our success. Now, let the show begin! How are we supposed to convince people that Void Scent were nothing more than pumpkins? I mean, we could just tell them it was just part of the show and it was an illusion. I guess that's the point. You know, I really do like the pumpkin-headed apparition. I just wish we knew what her name was. Maybe we should introduce her to, like, Golbez and Zero. I think that she would be a great helping hand in, you know, reining in, like, some of the Void Scent as they work to restore the 13th. That's just me, though. You know, this whole All Saints Wake has been strangely wholesome this year, which I kind of like. Maybe we desperately needed that, like after everything we went through with the Void and everything. So we have a chuckling Void scent. Uh, if I don't look, it'll go away. Huh? What? It was a pumpkin the whole time? I can't believe I fell for that. And now that I know it was just a trick, I'd like to see it again. Halloween just isn't what it used to be. I remember when I was a kid, I would be so excited, I couldn't sleep the night before. But now, it's just gotten to be... Dull. It's sad, in a way. W what is this awful thing? What? 
It was just a pumpkin. I knew the wood whalers wouldn't let such wicked things into the city. I've never seen such a feat of illusion before. If the rest of All Saints Wake is as entertaining, I must go and find the main event. Well, say what you will about Void Scent, they certainly do make really good advertising. Surprisingly so, they make really good advertising. Um, oh, is it that same Wood Whaler from before? I think so. Monsters have invaded the city. Okay, bye-bye. Again? Wait, this is all part of the All Saints Week's festivities, isn't it? I must say, that made my heart skip a beat. If this is what adorns the streets, I cannot wait to see what the main stage has in store. Okay, so all the prowling void scent are turned into harmless pumpkins. Hopefully they won't be eaten. I mean, my sympathy for Void Scent is limited. Oh crap, I didn't mean to come down here. But still, I don't think that, you know, pumpkins that were formerly Void Scent would taste all that pleasant. Where am I going? I don't know anymore. I cannot think straight. I'm just teleporting straight there. Okay, where is everyone? There you are. I took care of the void scent still haunting the great room. Growery, did your hunt go as smoothly? Good, good. Now we can safely say that the only frights in store for the citizens of Gridania are the decidedly entertaining variety. I took the liberty of gathering the pumpkins you created. Their punishment will not be eternal, but they can stand to remain in their current forms for the duration of the festivities. It is the least they can do in repentance. <laughs> there you are. My fearless clown. Thank you for reassuring me. I had worried I might have to retire from my position at the Great Loam Growery and seek less haunted climates. That's a bit of an extreme reaction, but hey! Can't really blame her if there's like a haunted pot going around. As the master of the botanist guild allowed me to extend my personal thanks for helping my gifted pupil avoid such a decision, it would have been a grievous loss for us all. Oh, it was no trouble at all. In fact, I should thank you for being such an exemplary audience. A true entertainer brings his all to every stage, be it a grand amphitheater or cozy vegetable patch. I only hope you were half as thrilled as I was. He is very good as a showman. That scary, uh, whatever that was looks so real. I never could have guessed it was just a garden variety pumpkin. Truly, I feel privileged to have seen a master of illusion at his craft. As do I. Would that every day we're f so filled with surprises. I could use some surprises now. 
As a token of our thanks, we made some pumpkin cookies from our most recent crop. Please enjoy them in good health. I do believe I could get used to this being thanks thing. Well, since you've gone through the trouble, I best eat them before they've cooled. To my good health. This is delicious! Okay. This flavor. I've never tasted anything like it. The cookies eat theirs tinge with something I can't quite pin down. It's bold but not overpowering. Is this the taste of gratitude? Oh, how much of my life have I wasted only supping on terror, when all along the whole world of flavors was left neglected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I should consider your words a compliment nonetheless. These cookies are but a small token of my appreciation. I only wish I could have given more. You mean I could potentially receive more gifts? If frightened or performing my act will give me more big delights, I'd better get to work straight away. Why, this is shaping up to be quite the old saint's week indeed. <laughs> I could not have imagined a better day of celebration for all. Our success here is in no small part thanks to you. As I believe that Papa Grouth now has matters well in hand, I shall return to my manor. Pray visit if you are so inclined. Oh, they are bringing back her manor. Oh yes, before I forget, do apprise that troublesome investigator of what has transpired here. Maybe he'll finally cast his prying eyes elsewhere. So I remember last year we got to actually go to her manor and hang out. Which is like the definition of like a real delightful haunted house. So I guess we're wrapping it up. What a fantastic yarn. Monsters plotting against monsters, all to make us happy? I, must, I admit I find your story hard to swallow, but I also see no reason why a fellow guild member would lie. Very well, I shall take your tale at face value and consider these to be glad tidings indeed. However, I cannot help but wonder if this was all an elaborate ruse. They knew we were watching them, and they may have compelled them to put on a show of charity. After all, a monster cannot change its skin overnight. I shall continue to keep a close eye on their activities from afar. I thank you for everything you've done and hope against hope that the evil has been laid to rest. Okay, so it's a charmed life indeed. We have access to Sneaky Hollow. Oh, that's so nice. Delightfully frightful. We could use some delightfully frightenedness, don't you think? Uh, the masquerade. The haunted manor. No, we've done that before. And so this is the vendor. So we have the wall mounted vampire bats and the magic prison. I'm just going to buy one to show you what it's like in case you don't know. And we get our own pumpkin head and Halloween bats. Or All Saints bats, I suppose. Well, that truly is delightful. Truth be told, I didn't think this plan for a harmonious whole saints wake would ever work, but I'm glad to be proven wrong. Okay, so I think you're the one. Should you wish to visit my master's residence, it would be my pleasure to escort you. Okay, so let's just have a quick look around, because it's been a whole year since we were last here. I 
wish that we could actually go into like these nice little areas all year round. But then again, I guess that would lose part of its fun. So this is a Halloween party or All Saints party filled with candy and treats. Hello again. Uh, no, not really. Ooh, this, that's right. We could actually go ahead with the disguises. Okay. Use a Vivian. Ooh, boy. Which one is which? Spends his life collecting treasures of the Far East. Who is that? Shares her body with the soul of an ancient Magus. Really? Since when was she at it? Oh, and Cog. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was not interested in being Hancock. So I just have to see if it's who I think it is. Yep, it's her. So she's definitely a new one that we had added. I'm probably going to have a lot of fun with this. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it, and be seeing you all again soon. Bye!